Hi, this is Rachel Cipriato coming to you again from Magnificent Resilience. And I want to talk to you about chips today. That's right, chips. Now, there are many kinds of chips. We have all kinds of different brands of potato chips. We're familiar with microchips. But that's not the kind of chips I want to talk to you about today. I want to talk to you about those chips we carry on our shoulder. Has anyone ever told you you have a chip on your shoulder? Whether they told me or not, I certainly did. I lived for years being upset with how I'd been treated in my childhood and many things that occurred in my adulthood too. I look at it all very differently now from a completely different lens. And it's that shift of perspective, it's that cognitive shift that can make all the difference and how we manage those unfair things that happen to us. I've quoted it before, but I'll quote it again. On my website, Zig Ziglar says, it's not about what happens to us in life, it's about how we handle what happens to us. How are you going to handle it when people falsely accuse you of things? Situations and events that you were not a part of, yet you get dealt that kind of unfair, unjust treatment. You know, just in the news recently, I know of a pastor, Joel Osteen, who um, faced that kind of unjust treatment because of Hurricane Harvey. His church, Lakewood, which is um, located in Houston, there were people who took pictures of his church and they purposely misled people into believing that there wasn't any flooding at the location of the church because they put the pictures on just one side of the church and they created all kinds of outcry on Twitter and other social media about the hypocrisy of preaching a message of um, love when they were claiming Joel wasn't practicing what he preached. It turned out that, as I said, this was um, a character assassination attack because it wasn't the way it was being portrayed at all. Fortunately, Joel was given the opportunity to defend himself on um, various television programs. However, we're not necessarily going to have that luxury when our friends, family, our frenemies, and even enemies come against us in that kind of manner. So what are we going to do? Are we going to be bitter? Or are we going to be better? Are we going to carry that chip on our shoulder? Or are we going to refuse to take that poison of bitterness and unforgiveness and resentment? I'm so happy today that I've made that more excellent choice. Quite frankly, it's not that I didn't want to make that choice, but for years, probably because of neurological changes that occurred when I experienced a great deal of trauma in childhood, I found it almost impossible to live out the golden rule do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Unfortunately, a lot of times I seem to live more by the adage, do unto others what they do to you. Oftentimes uh, responding defensively and righting the wrongs myself. And I'm happy to say that I have the ability to not do that today because of those shifts in perspective, because of my determination to change the way I think because of excellent speakers that I've listened to over and over and over again, rerouting my neural pathways that were so damaged in the process and taking healthy supplements that boost that brain change as well. So please make a decision today. You can have potato chips in moderation. You're gonna use microchips but refuse to carry that chip on your shoulder. If you're doing something great, you better believe you're going to be rejected. You're going to be falsely accused at times. But 
You do not have to respond in kind. You can respond taking the high road, the path of forgiveness, and what you'll see is that you'll just continue to be promoted. You don't need to pay anything, anyone back. Life will pay them back. We reap what we sow. If we sow lies and discord in the lives of others, you can bet your bottom dollar that that will return to those persons, usually in the most inconvenient of times. Again, Rachel Cipriano with Magnificent Resilience. Have a great week. Keep on keeping on. And please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.